This is what lung cancer looks like. It looks like healthy people who are living a happy life and then it comes out of nowhere. I was one of those kids in elementary school when they would come in and they would talk about smoking's bad for you and they'd show you pictures of it. I was like, I will never do that. And I never did, so that's why it was so shocking. There are many people out there who are non-smokers who are young and they're being diagnosed with stage four lung cancer because by the time you're diagnosed, you're usually stage three or four because the symptoms don't show up until it's that bad. We didn't know what to do, so we called many places, and my husband was a wonderful caretaker, and he was just beside himself. So um, he called Marilyn, and and he, you know, they said when they could get us in. Everybody had like at least a week, or, a week or two waiting list, so they told us when we could have an appointment. And and he said, well, I'm so upset because I don't know what to do for her. They recommend that she have her lung drained again, and that she have a PET scan, and and I don't know what to do. And they put him on with um, a nurse at University of Maryland named Lindsay. And she was like a godsend. She was the nicest nurse. And, and she said, well, I'm gonna make all that happen for you. So before I even got to see the doctors at Maryland, they um, had arranged for me to meet another Maryland doctor and he was very gentle when he drained my lung again. And I had the PET scan and I had another scan. And um, so by the time that I met with the doctors, there was like a bunch of people there to meet me, a bunch of doctors to meet me, and they already had all my tests, and so we could already start talking about stuff. We didn't have to then wait for things. And my drug is called Trucoso. I like the name of it because it reminds me of like a little Italian coffee. I took that pill on a Wednesday, and Thursday morning I woke up and I said, I'm hungry, which I hadn't eaten for a long time. And I emailed my doctor and I said, could this really be working that fast? Um, and he said, yes, I think it could. It was in like three days of taking Trigrisso. I was back walking in the woods, so I have been doing that since then. And it took care of um, the pain in my shoulder. Well, the amazing thing was I had an MRI done three weeks after I started to grisso and the spot in my brain was gone. And then the, um, the CT scans and the PET scans that I've been having like every three months since then have shown that like anything that was in a lymph node was gone. And my main tumor has shrunk from like five centimeters. The last time I had one was 1.2 centimeters. So it keeps shrinking so, and I feel um, really almost normal on this drug, except for some annoying side effects like dry skin and that kind of stuff. I will take the pill until it stops working. Eventually the cancer will figure out how to mutate away from my mutation to a new mutation. So I will keep taking it forever. Even if, I, even if the scans show that I have no evidence of disease, I will continue taking it just to keep it away. Yeah. I'm just thankful every day. Um, I wake up every day and I'm like, yay, I feel great today. And when I go for a walk, I just sing a little happy song. And every day is a great day, in my opinion, when, you know, you've looked at, maybe it's not going to be a great day. <laughs> so.